Scott, from the first moment I saw the pursuit, it caught my eye. I mean, it is so different in appearance. It just looks modern, it looks tough, it looks all these things. What drove the design process to come up with that look? Yeah, thanks, Maka. Uh, mate, it's, uh, as you know, it's a hybrid camper. Uh, that was a big thing for us. And, uh, mate, uh, yeah, we've always been in four-wheel drive and stuff like that. So uh, we want to build something that's obviously four-wheel drive capable and then uh, also, you know, keeps all the mod cons inside, you know, uh, lithium batteries, you know, high water storage, things like that, pull-out showers. Uh, and, um, yeah, that was sort of the, the main thing behind it. We just want to keep it, keep it comfortable and still be able to get away and get to places where you normally can't go. So we've spent the past couple of days towing the BRS, both of us this time. It wasn't just me driving. Um, Mel got probably the nicest part of road to drive, <laughs> um, which was, yeah, hard to, hard to handle from the front of the seat, but that's okay. <laughs> but it performs well when the road was bumpy. I did a lot of the uh, tighter stuff and it was fine. It tucks in behind. Yeah, yeah we, it tucks in behind me really well. Um, I found that I've towed a few trailers now and I found a couple of them quite skatey, but this one kind of pulled into line really well. So you're a big unit, mate. What are you, 6'1 or something? Yeah, 6'1, yeah. You stand in here fully upright. People don't expect that in a camper. But the other thing that grabs me is the amount of stuff that you have packed into such a small area. What sort of nice things have we got in here that people wouldn't expect to find in a camper? Yeah, mate, we've got, uh, as you can see, we've got Netflix playing right now. That's the uh, off the uh, cell fire go antenna, which basically gives you 4G in most areas where you just usually wouldn't have it. So what's that do? Does that just boost whatever signal's around? Yeah, so essentially what it does is it boosts your already existing uh, mobile phone reception, yeah, um, and give you, allows you to get things like, you know, Netflix and, and obviously just your, you know, your normal calls in 4G, yeah. So you can lay in bed in here in a remote place and watch Netflix? I've done before, mate. Holy dooly. I mean, and the other things I see around the place, I mean, we're talking microwaves, you've got fridges in here. Yep. There seems to be a fridge in every spot. Like, a lot of fridges. You, you have put your big boy having a great time <laughs> lifestyle into a camper from, yeah. from the outside view. Yeah. I actually like the sun gazing roof. Yeah. And I found that awesome at night time because you could actually see that whole Milky Way, which was amazing. Um, and I also like the ensuite. Um, the ensuite for us was a really quick setup and it meant that um, we could be inside the camper and um, have the, the shower set up straight away. It was really, really simple. Yeah, it's also the only one we've tested with a barbecue outside, and I really like that. They're quite versatile, especially um, to be able to have steaks or pizzas or whatever you want. I really enjoyed the barbecue. So it, it's nice to sit outside. You're out in nature for a reason, so you can sit out there and just have your favourite tunes playing in the background. Yeah. Really enjoyed that. Mate, look, I've had a bit of a squiz around. That list goes on and on. And you hear people say, everything from home, I've taken out in the bush, and you think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you actually have. I'm actually looking at this right now. It's a coffee machine. Does, does that have to be in a caravan park on 240 volt to work? Absolutely not, mate. Uh, we've got a uh, 1600 watt inverter on board. Uh, which runs off our 200 amp hour lithium battery. And uh, mate, you can fire up a coffee any time of the day or night if you feel the need. So one of the most common questions I get asked by the ladies out there particularly is, can I use my hair dryer and my coffee machine when I go out in the camper? Mate, you absolutely can. So mate, the question on my lips, and I'm sure on a lot of people who've been watching the show's lips, you're pulling this with a big tundra, like it's a monster machine. Does it need it? No, nah, it certainly doesn't matter. It's only uh, 1,600 kilos and it's got a 2,500 gross vehicle mass, so it has a 900 kilo payload, so nah, no issue at all. These guys have got a massive payload. I think it was 900 kilos in this thing. So for, like, when you're doing remote touring, like, that's, that's amazing. Like, to have that kind of capacity is excellent. So you could actually tow this with any of the dual cabs out there on the market and achieve everything you need to do? Yeah, absolutely, mate. No worries at all. So there you go, so all the comforts are home, and I mean all the comforts are home, right here in this compact unit that I've just watched you tow right through the most remote outback areas in New South Wales for the last couple of weeks. What more could you ask for? Better check out their website, I reckon. <laughs> Cheers, Macca.